It's always exciting to get a parcel in the mail. And it was my birthday and I bought myself a new pair of summer gloves. I don't like the idea of buying clothing stuff online but I took a leap of faith and uh, used their sizing guide and chose the size that's supposed to fit my hand. The brand is Kamaini and it's a Japanese company and there was nothing on the website anywhere that said where they were made. I was hoping they might be made in Japan. They look like a nice pair of gloves for summer. But time will tell I guess and this is what this video is going to do. First thing I found out was made in China. Oh well, isn't everything these days? And now for the most important bit, do they actually fit my long skinny hands? Well, that's a relief. They actually do fit and they feel pretty good too. They've got protection in them across the knuckles. So let's try the other hand, see whether that's any good. Yep. That fits nicely. Don't know about this flap on the back of the wrist. Never seen that before on a glove. It's sort of made out of wetsuit type material. But there's uh, sort of grippy stuff on the palm and of course the uh, iPhone little tab for fingers. It's got CE rated armour in the um, across the knuckles and as it says here it's a Japanese company. There's leather all across the palms. It's a bit hard to see in this video but yeah there's, um, it's leather palm but the rest of it's um, some sort of synthetic. But I like the fact that it's got that really nice stuff in between the fingers there. It's really nice and comfy. These are my last two pair of summer gloves. This is a BMW brand that I've had for, hmm, I don't know, 15 or 20 years I guess. They've certainly lasted but they were never really very comfortable and so I wasn't always um, keen to wear them. The um, elastic strap has perished. It's leather on the palms but it really bunches up um, and so I never found them really comfortable when you hang on to the um, the handlebars, uh, the leather seemed to bunch up into your palm. But otherwise, they weren't too bad a glove. But um, then, I, then I went to just a, you know, a work glove from Bunnings. And um, they sort of fit where they touch. But they were reasonably comfortable, um, not much protection. And um, on the palms, they had quite heavy leather and, and I actually had to unstitch a whole lot of heavy leather on the palms because they were just so uncomfortable when you hang on to the handlebars. They just bunched up a real lot. One of the many problems that I have is that uh, my hands are quite skinny but fairly long and so I tend to have this uh, sort of bunch uppy stuff in the palm. Anyway, let's have a look at the new gloves. They certainly fit better than the other two sets and I like the uh, the sort of squishy stuff on the, on the knuckles. It's got leather on the palms and mm, it looks like it might be a bit bunchy there as well. It serves me right for having skinny hands I guess. We'll see what it's like when I actually do it go for a ride. Well, we went away down to the Snowy Mountains um, and did a ride for about uh, six days and two and a half thousand kilometres. And so the gloves are nicely worn in now. They fit much better than they did initially. They've stretched a little bit to my hands, which is good. So let's go for a bit of a ride with them today.
It is summer here in Australia, but we really haven't had any particularly hot weather lately. It only got to uh, sort of the low 30 degrees Celsius um, on our um, trip away. So I can't really say how good these are in summer. And of course I've got hand guards as well, which reduces the, um, the airflow. One thing that has happened over the last two and a half thousand kilometres is that the gloves have moulded to my hand quite nicely. They're not bunching up in the palms and so they're uh, really quite comfortable hanging onto the grips. This is a real bonus for someone who's got skinny hands. The gloves are short and occasionally there's a gap between glove and jacket. So. Note to self, always put sunblock on your arms, you idiot. Anyway, back to the review. These gloves are very comfortable. They fitted just like the sizing chart said they would. And even though I've got skinny hands and long fingers, the gloves fit nicely on the handlebars and don't bunch up on my palms. This is something I haven't had with any other summer glove. Will they last? Well, I guess only time will tell. I've only worn them for a six day trip so far and they've proved to be comfortable, cool and very tactile on the handlebars. So I'm quite happy with my purchase. But now it's time to put the bike away and dream about future adventures. As I take off these gloves, I'm thinking to myself, hmm, these gloves are so comfortable, I think I might wear them to bed tonight. Just kidding, I'd never get away with that. <laughs>